symbolically of course this is what we're doing in this devotion we symbolically take up our cross and follow Jesus one of the reasons why the Stations of the Cross has proved such an enduringly popular devotion over the centuries is that it encapsulates or sums up quite succinctly something that's right at the heart of the Christian life we are Christians we are the people who follow the Christ who is the way, the truth, and the life. Like Christ, who carried his own cross to his own death, we go through life carrying our own burdens, carrying our own cross, or our own crosses. And as the way he carried his cross was revelatory, as the way he carried his cross proclaimed the good news, so the way that we bear our burdens is a way of preaching the gospel. And as his death in the end proved to be the doorway into a more intense bodily life, into a resurrected life, so our final end, but also those little deaths that we undergo through life, our deaths to self-obsession, our deaths to self-interest, to selfishness, these two can be a means into a new life of truth, goodness and beauty with God. As Jesus said, whoever would save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake, he will save it. And this, I think, tells us something quite important about the link between faith, love and suffering. Herbert McCabe used to say, that the crucifixion on the cross that Jesus receives at this station is what perfect love looks like when beamed onto a sinful human community. What perfect love looks like when projected onto a world that is twisted and distorted by sin. And Jesus tells us to take up this cross every day. So to love like Jesus did at some level must mean suffering like Jesus did. And I think this is an idea that most people find intuitively plausible. The more we love someone, be that a parent, a spouse, uh, a friend, a child, the more we love that person, the more vulnerable we are to them, the more that person's mistakes can hurt us, and the more our mistakes can hurt them, and we will hurt them because we're sinful, we're not yet perfect. So, at some point, in any really deep, loving relationship, someone has to take a risk. We have to take the risk of being vulnerable. We have to trust in the person that we love. We have to put our faith in them. We have to have faith that they won't abuse our gift that they won't abuse our trust. So love requires faith, and it will bring with it suffering. But even this suffering can be something that we enter into joyfully. The more we love someone, the more we want to sacrifice ourselves for them. Think about the sacrifices that parents make for their children, for example. So where there is deep love, there is often suffering, but there is also great joy. We suffer for love. We suffer for love of God, and we suffer for love of neighbour. But life comes from these trials. Life comes from these sacrifices, because God is always faithful 
and his love is more powerful than death. Leo.